This is water spinach. The water spinach is have a big value to all province people, mostly in the poor place in the Philippines. This water spinach vegetables is the kind of vegetables that's easy to find and easy to cook and it's a life saver of so many people in the Philippines. It's free and easy to find and the most important it saved so many hungry people long long time ago. All right, before we go to the deep story of the water spinach and about the hungry people, let me cook this water spinach adobo for breakfast for the farm. Today is a rainy day, so tomorrow, hoping it will be sunny. If that happened, I will be walk you to the farm tomorrow to show you where is the water spinach growing and I tell you about why I say it's a lifesaver to the four place in the Philippines if you are interested just keep on watching and please I truly appreciate if you give me a thumbs up Hello amazing people, welcome to my Filipino vlog. This is Papa's bike, have extension seats in here for a passenger or sometimes wood and that's all the wood he have for cooking that we are using. It's pretty strong though. This tree they call this tambis. It's a fruit. And this one is turmeric. So this is how it look like the leaves of turmeric. We have so much here and the smells of the leaves is really good. Let's thank God for a beautiful day today and as I promised to you yesterday, I walk you to the farm and let's go to the place and find a water spinach. I go in the farm walk with my mom today. Wish you all appreciate the view of the farm and I never done this before to walk you all over the farm so i hoping you enjoy this one so mama and i do a survey in the farm and also i was gonna find a water spinach because i gonna show you 
where it grow did you see right there it's a bamboo it's pretty far hope you can see it so walking in the walkway like this one in the farm before when we are living in the farm like we don't have any neighbors uh i think it's right there we are really in the middle of the farm no one else there just one house just us and my my mom and dad and i was having hard time to walk a place like this i was always fall because i was born here but i was grow up in the place like near in the river so when we are moved here it's all farm so i'm having a hard time to walk right here i really moody when i was go to the school i already moody because we need to walk two hours to get in there in the road because the school is there but after a long time i was getting used to it i was good to walk here but this time again not really much and also i had the good skills before i can catch a frog like really good to catch the frog because we are a frog hunter before when i was young so this area is the farm that where my father works this is how big it is it's one and a half hectare of land that my aunt have here that she let my father to work and we are also staying in the land we can have house while he work in here i think we are here i i think we here 13 years already it's 13 years this area only not count the time that we are there in the middle of the farm so while we here near in the road it's 13 years already and i'm 27 now so only right here that my father working in the other side is also on farm but different people who work in there it's when yep look at that <laughs> that's the reason why you can't say like most of the farm people have a nice feet because of this Tada! that's the water's spinach this kind of vegetables is just growing even no one's gonna plant it so long ago when the rice start to growing there is no work for everyone and everyone is struggle with the food and that we called crisis for this time that the rice is just starting to grow only the harvest time and the planting time that people have work in the farm in that time no establishment or business or opportunity that you can have in the town because this place before it's unknown so the, so many people are finding food, a free food, in the crisis time, like heart of banana, the vegetable we call baku, and the pretty common is the water spinach because they are everywhere in the water. So it saved a lot of life before, and it saved so many hungry people. We are lucky today because there is so much opportunity that you can have in the town and so many people here they are working in the town right now than working in the farm because if they don't have work in the town they sure struggle because the machine is done everything here in the farm and there is no need so much people in here only a little people. Look, there's a water lily in the farm. It's it's mixed with the rice. I think you need to remove this. 
lots there i think you need to remove that one it's make the look at this it's like the rice is skinny because the water lily is rough on it they use fertilizer to kill that because they're supposed to grow right here not there look at this kind of grass i saw them a lot and it's pretty right Did you see that kissing snail? There are lots and then look at this one. This is the egg of the snails. There's so much egg. Look at right there and look at here. See that's what happened when there's so much snails on it. Look at this one. I think this is the one who harvests first. Because the rice is what they call that pregnant. Alright. I can't wear it here because my feet is muddy. It will be slippery for me if I still use it. So I just hold it for now. Because we're gonna wash when we are home. So that's all for today's video. I hope you do enjoy this one. And please, if you do, I really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Always remember to take care, stay safe, and God will bless you all. Bye, everyone. I see you in the next one.